Hey, it's Tom from Tom's Tunes. This right here could save you a whole bunch of headache and a whole bunch of time on your pontoon restoration project or even maybe a fishing boat restoration project. I'm gonna show you how to install it and explain everything about it. This is the wiring harness from pontoonstuff.com. This has all of my electrical and accessories. It's ready to plug into a battery and then to run up to a dash, plug into a pontoonstuff.com switch panel or another aftermarket switch panel or even to your existing boat switch panel, but with all new electrical wiring. So you could make your own harness. I don't recommend it because this is available, $120, $130, and it's well worth the time you're gonna save and all that wiring you would have to buy. When we look at this, it's in a bundle. You're just gonna take the electrical tape off to open things up. What I wanna find first is this white plug. There's a pigtail on here. This can unclip and plug right into a pontoon stuff harness, or as you've seen in some of our other videos, I can use these leads to splice into an aftermarket switch panel, uh, even from Amazon. I'm gonna take that first and I'm gonna pull it out. As I get down here, it's going to split. So if we look here, there's my pigtail. That's eventually gonna to go to the console and then things split. So at this split, this is gonna go up through the floor to the console. Our split happens and we have a gray with a black. We have an orange with a white stripe, a solid black, and then a gray with a green stripe. This section is gonna go forward. The reason being forward on the boat or to the bow. Reason being is my orange with a white is a horn. So if I want my horn up in the front of the boat where it's loudest projecting forward, I can run it up there. My gray with a black is for docking lights or headlights. My gray with a green is for my front navigation lights or my running lights. And then this big solid ground is gonna split up there and that's gonna be my common ground for all those accessories. With my harness or my pigtail pulled, I'm gonna go ahead and pull that bundle of wires that I just explained free. And what you're gonna find is that part of the harness comes to a bundle and splits again. We have a short side with all those same colored wires However, this time I have a corresponding black ground wire to each of those. That's going to stay on my starboard side or my or driver's side, console side, if your console's on the starboard side of the pontoon. The other one keeps the same colored wires. It's going to drop the horn wire and we're just going to have navigation and docking lights with a pair of ground wires. That's a longer one so that it can extend across the bow of the boat to light the port side. So I'm gonna take these wires and I'm gonna go ahead and run them right underneath. Your pontoon boat might have holes in the cross members. In this case, we have a nice M bracket. We're just gonna lay them right across the top of the pontoon. They're sheathed, they're protected. We could add a corrugated tubing if we wanted to, but I know that my big pigtail plug is going to go with all of my steering cable, ignition harness, shift throttle cables. That's gonna stay here, so I can even lay them across just for the time being. And then I'm gonna take my front wires and I'm gonna go ahead and run them right up through. I can keep my starboard or short side here and I can flip my longer side right across. This boat is gonna get a little front deck and it's not a big deal if I need to pull this back through and chase it across here rather than here. Not the end of the world, but I like to lay it in and at least get a start. That's run across. The front of the boat is done. We have whole videos on wiring all of your navigation lights, your docking lights, your horn on our channel. Look those up if you need help there. But all of these wires with grounds are ready to be paired up and wired to accessories on your boat. We come back, that plug stays where the console is gonna be in between these cross members. And then I have a lead of wires that goes to the back of the boat. Starting with the first one's shortest is a gray with a blue stripe and a black ground wire. That is for my anchor light, my stern light. It's gonna go up in this case to a bimini. 
If you need to extend it farther, you could splice in and run a red black or the same color wire to the back of the boat if need be. In this case, it's gonna get tied into the bimini and it is gonna be back a little bit farther. So we're just gonna run it through a couple cross members and leave it hang. The rest of the stuff that's going to the stern or the back of the boat is a big 12 gauge ground wire that's black. That's eventually gonna hook straight to the battery. We've got a big 12 gauge power wire that's red that's gonna hook to the positive post on the battery. And then we have this brown with an orange stripe. This would be wired to a bilge pump, uh, maybe a wash down pump or any other accessory. It's just a 16 gauge power wire and it will find a ground towards the back of the harness. That could be used for a number of things, but it's really indicated by the color for a live well or a live well pump. That would be on the back of your pontoon, right down at the bottom on the bracket. That's why it goes to the back. So what I'm gonna do is take the end of my wire to the rear, and what you'll see on there is a resettable 20 amp fuse. So if your power ever quits, one quick place to check is if this little black button here is sticking out, you can push it and it resets. Occasionally, depending on your pontoon, you may have to snip this right here so you can run your wires through holes or underneath cross members, depending on what type of boat you have. And then you can just splice it back together before you install it and hook it to the battery. That's that ground wire and our orange picks up a ground towards the back. We're gonna run all of these all the way to the back of the boat. And if you're unsure exactly where they're gonna end up or between which two cross members, I like to just get it roughly in the right spot and then I can adjust from there. I know with this boat that we're doing a sun deck enclosure, the batteries or battery will be in the sun deck enclosure and I know we're gonna leave a little bit of back deck space. So I'm thinking we're gonna end up in between these two cross members and it's gonna to be towards the middle. So what I'm gonna do is just run this right now, leave a little slack and lay it down kind of near the transom. My wires are run forward and back now. If I have excess, when I'm all done, I might have some excess here. I might have some excess from those wires that go to the stern. What I like to do is just coil them up make them nice and clean and tidy. I'll tape them off or zip tie them, typically up under the helm if I can help it. Worst case, I can zip tie them in to a bundle of wires like this that are already zip tied together and they'll be nice and tidy out of the way. This harness is available at pontoonstuff.com. You can use Tom's Tunes as a promo code when you check out to save 5% on your whole purchase. And remember stuff like that ships for free to your house, I'm telling you, it is a must have on every boat that we do. Makes our lives a lot easier and make sure that the job is done correctly. Thanks for watching.